how is it going everybody and welcome to my channel finally with another video i missed you all guys really really much um i didn't have a lot of time in the last few days a lot of work a lot of personal stuff come in between but yesterday i got so sick of all this enchantment stuff i was um trying to get to music and nothing wanna work and then i thought hey let's make an amazing anti-enchantment deck that but that is also not that against other uh, decks that are currently played like uh, ores of control or mono white mono green and all this stuff and this is what i come up with and this deck is just amazing this is a pure synergy deck i want to point some synergies out and definitely check out the uh, breakdown part just for more info on this deck because this deck has uh, super super much synergies and uh, I hope you will see and enjoy everything you see in the game plan part because there is so much micro uh, micromanagement in this deck that enables different plays that you don't even thought is possible, right? I just want to point something out to just like as a little tease for you. Uh, check this out. Check this combo out. And I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, this Beaver Savior is just a burner. This is this is why I call the the, 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 the deck drop it like it's hot because this card allows you whenever a creature you control dies transform it and then transformed version of it is a 3-2 so we pay three mana for a 2-1 is terrible but a 3-2 is already okay but whenever he attacks we return creature card with mana value two or less from our graveyard to the battlefield tap and attacking this means outland liberator and qatar command come back again for example we can use qatar command or outland liberator just to trigger her to transform her then we attack and we bring back the creature, we sacrifice it with and go into the face. It's so amazing. And all these enchantment decks, they are just throw up as soon as they see this combo. Because you can destroy everything they put on the board. All the borrow times, all the holo haunted, all the small enchantments. It, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I'm ready to pay one mana to destroy. Or even if it's night, I'm not paying anything. I'm just destroying your stuff, bro. <laughs> so this is just an amazing, amazing synergy. But you will see much much more in the gameplay part other things are just also great we see you see maybe here we have some other synergy here with our second drop we have hopeful initiate to also deal with artifacts and enchantments also amazing because we have some counter synergy wedding announcement great card advantage great pump spell in the late game especially if you have a lot of spirits or some spirits you don't even need a lot you just need two three and this is enough especially against mono green if you have two three spirits that get pumped by wedding announcement by turn five bro it's game over it's gg i'm sorry also the token production from usher is really really helpful portable hole deals with a lot of things um <laughs> adversary i don't need to mention what he does if he drops uh board on turn five or six especially if you also have waiting announcement but just amazing i love this deck run for me currently i think i am at 7-0 i played some games on the mobile this is why i don't have a track of it uh yesterday because i don't have so much time but uh, i will tell you much more in the game breakdown i don't want to waste your time I just want to ask you, if you enjoy what I'm doing, consider to subscribe to my channel to support me. It will be amazing. Otherwise, guys, let's roll the gameplay. Uh, so, let's go, let's go, let's go against Durgim, our first opponent. And you notice, know, maybe I didn't have so much time to play. Uh, the last few days, the videos were a little bit slow after Sunday's videos, but... Where was he? There is a lot of happening at work. But with this deck, I had an amazing run yesterday. Like, literally amazing run. I went straight from, I think, Diamond Tier 3 to Diamond Tier 1. So we are now almost a mythic. And this is just sugar. And this opponent looks maybe like an uh, enchantment deck. And I love to farm them. I just had now, before... <laughs> I started recording it, uh, amazing game against enchantment, but uh, I, I wasn't recording, I was just like testing, warming up and stuff like this. Ah, opponent is definitely an enchantment deck. Hello, senor. Hello, hello. Sure, sure. Let's see. Mm, let's bring the savior out and savior with the command. Oh, boy. Boy, boy, boy. This is just an amazing com combo. If you have the command with savior, you can set command, attack with savior, he's transformed, he goes instantly in, do all kind of weird shenanigans. Okay, here we have a good decision, interesting decision. Play brutal Qatar, attack in, there will be two, three, or we play um, brutal Qatar, 
Exile the Chu Chukai. Exile the Chukai. I think this is a better play. And then we're gonna go in. Opponent don't wanna block. This is often like this against these enchantment decks. They wanted to keep as much as possible of their creature on the board. And my job is to prevent it with all our enchantment destruction, artifact destruction, and our early aggressions. So this is just uh, currently sugar. Currently sugar. Command will be perfect now, right? If I will draw command, I could play... I don't know, something like adversary, but we will see, we will see where we go from here. Opponent with wedding announcement. And he can copy the trigger so he has multiple tokens. I mean, he should. Mm, definitely. Okay, then let's go with adversary. Pump everything by one. And let's go in. Let's see what my opponent wants to produce here. Nothing! Jesus, bro, you go down to five? Really? Really? Oh, another Jukai. Hello, my friend. What do you have? Another wedding announcement? Another wedding announcement? Could be, right? I mean, two cards. Sure, I have two cards. Sure. Oh no, you play Restoration. Search your library, you wanna copy this trigger? Oh, it doesn't look like. Okay. Search your library for the land. Search it, search it. Create your, your, your Toki. Mm -hmm, okay. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And this is what I mean. Bam. Sacrifice. Transform. Turn into thingy. Attack. Bring him back. Grow. And he, I can again sacrifice him. Again if I want to. Again. <laughs> Bro. You need to be really careful what you wish here. Really, really careful. You need to sacrifice your whole board. My kitty joined me because she likes to play against enchantments. Oh, uh, who is he blocking double? Ah, oh, the adversary. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, this. Yeah, we can. We can still apply the damage first. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're gonna keep it like this. We're gonna keep it like that, my friend. Because the command can be sacked on instant speed. And then I can destroy the circle. Get back my wolfie. And keep on attacking. Keep on attacking. And next turn he comes back again bro. He comes back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Return it. Return it. Return it my friend. Return it. Yeah, They are tapped. They are tapped. Durgrim. Durgrim, you like enchantments? Okay, sure, but it's just just to attack. You wanna attack me for, for this one? Well, before the trigger resolve, let's deal with it like this, right? So he has a little bit less of a pump spell. Si, sí, senor. Oh, another one. Oh, nice, nice. Of course. This is a lot of life gain. A lot, a lot of life gain. Oh, he triggers it again. Sure. 20! Wow! Okay, go in. Go in, my friend. Go in. Go in for 20. Let's see if you can go from there some, somewhere else. Uh, so now we are gonna do it how we are gonna uh, turn it to night, right? One, two. Uh, bring back commando. Yeah, sure. 
Bring back Commando. Atakujce. Ja, ja, ja. And then we can... Should I do it on Incest Pit? I think so, right? This way we turn it to night. Si, senor, si, senor. Pump it, pump it. Pump it, pump it. Pump it, pump it, pump it. You can pump it. Yeah, 9-9. Nine, nine. Nice. Nice! What else? You got something else? Okay. An interesting choice, of course, of course. Of course, of course, my friend. Bye bye. Bye bye. And we're gonna block it here. So, another landing. We go with another landing. We go with another of you. And we go with... Other of you. Then we are gonna... Atakuitze. Bring back the Liberator. And what now? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I mean, maybe not the smoothest play, but I think it's enough for him, no? I think this is enough for him. Should have maybe sacrificed the uh, uh, Liberator before he could block and create a token, right? This would save me a little bit of damage, but it's okay. I think we are okay. Cool sleeves, by the way. I like the sleeves. Huh? This is two creatures, another land. You can pump your land to attack me, but Hopeful will take care of it. And it will turn to night. You know what it means, right? Sure. Go in, my friend, go in. Okay, you take you, you take you. Let's see from there where you wanna go. Again, night. Oh, Jesus. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'm so sorry. Should I show it to him up front or should I do it later? Let's 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 show him this one up front, right? Like hey, look what I got. We're gonna attack. We're gonna bring back uh, a liberator. It doesn't really matter. They're both at one one uh, one to sacrifice. Oh, he double blocks. Uh, they die both, right? Because they're both enchantments. Yeah, I don't mind it at all. To be honest. They die both. Si, senor. I transform it. And I make it to daytime again. What do you say to it? What do you say, Durgrim? Maybe not as smooth as first play, but definitely one of the most fun ones. Come with your land. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Yes. Another land and I can pop with adversary. <laughs> no card draw, we are coming. Card draw, we are coming. Card draw, we are coming. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I love your enchantments. They're so predictable. They're so good. And this deck is just crashing them. Crashing them, guys. One more game. One more game to reach Mythic. And we're gonna go to Mythic with it. I promise you that. I promise you that. 
yesterday I had an amazing run with this deck. I, I had like, I think like six or seven old run and it just crushes all these enchantments. So let's, let's go, let's go. Here we are ready for our second game, Negima. Maybe our Murphy game. Before the game was taking like ages to search. And then when I finally found it, it was a draw. So a little bit weird. Maybe Magic says, hey, hey, you are ready for, for Mythic? <laughs> uh, we go first and this is actually a nice uh, opening, I would say. Uh, we have some removal, we have some interactions, we have some creatures in, in the air. So I'm okay with it. We don't have especially enchantment removal right now, right now. But we have with Hopeful, of course. Hopeful Initiate is just a huge value card against artifact and enchantments. It looks like a life gain deck. Life gain is a little bit annoying, but just poquito poquito. Ah, now we have a really, really difficult decision, right? So we're gonna in. Let's see, so Ors of Life Gain or Ors of. Um, Ors of. Uh, Synergy deck. Uh, I was thinking for a while what I want to do first, but I think token creation is here a little bit better because I don't think he runs too many enchantments. Yeah, this is an Ors of Life Gain Synergy deck, definitely. So this is why we are going to play you. We are going to play you and we are going to play you. I present you. Tada! Turn three, four creatures. And how much is it? One, two, three, uh, five. Five power on the board. And <laughs> handful of removal. Play it, my friend. Play your... Uh, how, what is the name of this uh, black, white, two mana, two, two that grows with life gain? And these lands do a lot for life gain. They do a lot for life gain. Like, really much. Especially with these life gain decks that care about one life. Oh, okay, okay. Okie dokie, this is how you want to do it, huh? This is how you want to do it. Um, I cannot take him away, but... But, here comes the but. Let's go here and here. No. You stay back so he cannot attack, right? Yeah. Not really happy with the second portable whore. Okay. So opponent cannot attack. Opponent cannot... Defend. Oh, Valkyrie. Okay, another one. Um, this is this is not going how it should go. We can play you, and we can play you because you already saw it, and we will see if you're gonna need it just to create another another talk, right? And then, voice of the blast. Ah, this is how you are. Ah, you you were scared of the portable horn. Mastermind, bros. Mastermind. Negima mastermind. Ooh. Ooh, this is actually good, right? This is actually very good. Another voice of the blast. And then we go all in, right? So let's see, opponent kills here one, and he trades here, okay. Sure, my friend. Then we're gonna transform the beaver, you know that, right? And then when the beaver is transformed, she can get back my thingies from the graveyard. This is synergy, Negima. And now we are just basically waiting for another land. When we hit another land, we take away the Valkyrie, and then we have free path to go. Hopefully initiate amazing also with Dauntless constantly growing, Dauntless getting us our creatures back here. So this is uh, just sugar. Only maybe downside is that... Uh, of course, okay, sure. Gain, gain your life, gain your life. Aye, this is not what I want to see. This is not what I wanted to see. Um... So how do we do that? Should we wait one more turn is the question? Or should we keep on attacking? 
further. I think we need to attack further, right? We need to attack further. Um, let's get back Clarion. Let's see what my opponent wants to block and how he wants to block it. Okay, reasonable. Makes sense. Bending announcement will be cool now, especially with so many tokens. A really, really powerful card. But in general, also land will be cool. So game should just give me something that I can profit from. The rest should be shiki miki, chiki briki. Why is he lightning up? Ah, because I can destroy my... Uh, my uh, thingy boombing. My portable hole. Opponents, four cards. You need to have something, right? What do you have? Like, vanishing verse? I don't get it. Okay. Angel of Destiny! Ah, this is how you are, huh? Angel of Destiny. Jesus, this is a problem, right? This is definitely a problem. Okay, now we have our next land. Let's play our next land and take away... He wants to attack with Angel of Destiny, right? So let's take away Valkyrie. And slowly but surely. So nothing else. Pam pam pam. You have another Angel of Destiny? This will be painful. Aura, okay. Aura is not the worst. Uh two, 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 two. Do, 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 do. This will help me to trigger next turn the day night cycle so I can exile with the brute again. Oh, pyre. Okay. He wants to sacrifice something? I, I cannot interact with the pyre without hopeful initiate. It does. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think that the Elite Spellbinder is a bigger win for you than Aura. Right? Okay. Sure. Interesting game. Definitely interesting. Uh, start moving my brain cells here a little bit around. Resolve. I should have... He has nothing for... 5? Oh yeah, usually they don't run it, right? Well, let's see what he wants to do now. He knows that I can double spell. Okay. Let's remove you. 1, 2. Should have removed it, by the way, before, just in case he has something for 5. Oof. Amazing draw. Amazing draw. No attacks, my friend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Amazing draw. This is this is another one. <laughs> hey, stop it. Oh, he has vanishing verse or what? Negima? No, he does. <gasps> he will hate me. He will hate me. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All Atakuitsu. 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 Yeah. You can block it, but you cannot run it. Boom, 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 boom. You can block it, but not run it. Another land, okay. <laughs> oh, he's dead, right? He's dead. Doesn't matter what he does, and this is our movie, guys. Yes. Yes. Wow, what a cool game. Hey, I, I love this day. And literally, 
you're abusing the enchantment things and you are pretty good against other things because there are so many artifacts and enchantments that are impactful. So here we are in the mythic. Let's, let's see how many people in mythic try to abuse the enchantments so we can punish them. So our first mythic game against Fayep. Fayep 42? And why am I 99% mythic? Because esto. Is it normal? Payep is 87, so he's maybe running some jank here. They can maybe also the matchmaker think that I'm a jank. Um, here we have some nice interaction, but if we go first, we don't have a one drop. But I generally like this hand. I actually can open with Kabira, then Frost Dragon, then Command in the opponent's turn. And then I can maybe play Beaver. So let's see, let's see. I, I think it's fine, it's fine. Kabira takedown is nothing we really look to have in our opening, it's just a replacement land that has an extra utility because you saw in our previous game, in our mythic game, how white our board can get. And because we have such a white board, this sort of removals with um with uh, amount of damage of your creatures is pretty pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Opponent looks like on some sort of Boros shenanigans, maybe Boros equipments. <laughs> he will hate me too. <laughs> Oh no, you are Jeskai. What? Are you at this Jeskai multi-turn thingy? Can it be? Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go, my friend, let's go. I'm all in, I'm all in, definitely. Give me your Magda. Give me your tree damage. Avatar looks cool, no? I, I, I somehow like this avatar. It reminds me of Stranger Things. Um, the, the Elfie. Her, the, she she looks really similar, like in season two. No, shut the fuck up. Who is peeping there? So Avatar is cool. Uh, Avatar is definitely cool. I mean, Kyora is sexy and all and, and nice, but he is just like or she is cool. She he. Um, what is the name of them of the of this ninja planeswalker? It's it's the Avatar from him, right? I I think so. Wandering Mind, the really really cool card, really underplayed card, definitely. Digging for seven. Seven it is, right? Ah, uh, six. Digging for six is just like... Pfft. So, um, we didn't draw our land. This is a little bit sad, but that's okay. We can still attack with command. Beaver can transport, transform if he wants to prevent it. A wandering mind. A little bit thirsty. Oh, he wants to transport. So maybe he has like Celestus, but he doesn't know what the survivor does. And survivor does an amazing job, guys. I'm telling you, such an un such an underplay card in any sort of aggro decks because constantly getting out something for two mana or less from your graveyard, tapped and attacking is so much damage. Hmm. You are just get vehicles. I don't understand. Uh, Jeskai Vehicles? I think this is Jeskai Vehicles, right? I think so. Uh, you can crew it, of course. Uh, it's okay. That's okay, that's alright. Oh, he goes the greedier way, huh? Not well, sure, but this is a lot of damage, my friend. A lot of damage. Tap plant. But he can negate it with Magda. But then he needs to be really careful what he does next turn. Because a pump from adversary is... Oh, oh, not to underestimate. This will be 4. This will be 8. This will be 11, right? Yeah. If you don't interact and we draw another land, then uh, it's it's lethal. It's lethal, my friend. I mean, cool deck, definitely. Artifact spells equals cost one less. So he can maybe art... Oh, Jesus. Here it is. Here it is, my friends. Here it is. Here it is. It's not lethal, but uh, it, it's definitely something... Uh, painful for my opponent 
So let's go. Let's go. He most likely will jump to Qatar. I will jump to Qatar. Not this Qatar. This Qatar. Burn, born to drive. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. Who do you want to... Okay. Very interesting. Down to three. I mean, sure, right? Sure. Time plant. Into Mecca. Mobile is Mecca. What do you do? Becomes uh, crude up to one target vehicle you control. Becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. You don't have other vehicles. Yeah, what do you need the mana for? Bro, explain me, please. What do you need the mana for? I'm not sure if my opponent is familiar with with it, but he's dead, right? Because I can do it like this. He can crew it. I should have maybe gone for the Mecha first, right? But he could crew it with this one too. But still, I will replay it and sack it again. Yeah. And then I, I attack. I get it back. And I sack it again. And you are dead. Yeah, I mean, you will be dead anyway. But this is what we can do against... All other decks too. He can... No, he can't. Pa, 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 pow. Pa, 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 pow. This is a pure amazingness. I love this deck, guys. I love this deck. Oh, I'm in numbers. One, five, five, four. One, five, five, four. Okay. <laughs> Let's go another one. So this will be most likely our last one against Pray and Pray. <laughs> it's a Call of Duty player. Spray and Prayer. He's number 579, so this win will give me a lot. A lot, I'm telling him. And this hand looks actually really, really good. Depends what we are up against, but... Hello, my friend, hello. And here I'm again in numbers, so the game is, like, on fire. On fire! Um, bam bam, bam bam, bam, bam bam. Interesting choice, right? Let's go in. Let's see what my opponent wants to do. Okay, chumpy chumpy. Sure. We can create a toki toki. Mm -hmm. Cool sleeves though. I have them too. I bought them. One of few sleeves that I bought them, I think. Oh, oh, we are here. Professor Onyx deck. Professor Onyx. Uh, chop. You like when your creature dying? I like it too. I like it too, bro. Yeah, savior does exactly what you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next turn, next turn. Wedding into portable hall, into double attack, into card draw. Boom. Boom, bitch. Boom. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, next turn, Edgar. He will play next turn, Edgar. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We have answers for Edgar. We have answers for Lolf. Oh, sure. Attack me, my friend. Attack me. I twitch. I twitch. This is even a better target, bro. This is even a better target. Boom. Boom. Bye. Say bye. And give me a card. Give me this card. More freaker. More freaker. Okay, next turn we can double pump. This will be three. This two. Not sure. Oh, feed the swarm. Nice. Good adaptation to the meta, bro. Good adaptation, but a little bit painful. Huh? Poquito. Poquito, poquito. Okay, this is too much landscape. This is uh, definitely a little bit... Too mucho, 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 um... 
Uh, the problem is now, I want to transform her to gain back uh, creatures, right? Mm. But also I don't have like super, super powerful creatures. So what I'm gonna do, I think, I'm gonna use my Kabiri. Kill it, maybe he will sack it in response. Mono black, right? Uh, it is a mono black. Maybe he tries to kill the savior. No, it just transforms when my creature dies. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to attack with both. At the end. Maybe he has grasp? On the other instance they could play. Could be grasp, right? Okay. I need some interaction, I don't need so much lands. Game, not so much lands, please. Okay, Hive Tyrant. Ah, oh, you cheeky motherfucker, nice. He wants to, like, he wants me to commit to more to the board. Depends what I draw next, right? I mean, I could, I could go for the commitment. A command. Command is actually a much more pleasant play here, because now if he sweeps, we can command in response. Param pam pam param pam pam param pam pam param pam pam. We will see what my opponent is gonna do. A meaty hooky for Uno. I could save it, right? And I could even, I think, with full control, let me try the mastermind play. Let me try the mastermind play. Okay, opponent is thinking. Let me hook hit the board and then we play it. Oh, opponent even give me a nice. I think so too, my friend. Resolve. She needs to transform now, so she will be two. Right? Ah, he has some instances. He has definitely some instances. She transforms. I remove the hook. And it goes just for one. Yeah, he has the instant. Okay. But still, we remove the mid hook. We force out the instant. This is, uh, this is not the worst. And the night witch. Okay. Okay, another wedding announcement. Okay, it's not the worst draw I could, I could hit. Not the worst thing. Hive, okay, that's not terrible. Mm -hmm. Si, senor. Right now we have six lands, right? Uh, and no man lands. Okay, this is also a good draw. Take away the eye twitchy. And let's go in. And no, nope. next turn. Next turn there will be stronger, bigger, better, and you know how it is. Deadly Dispute, oh, he's, he's searching, he's searching, definitely searching, okay, he didn't found anything, okay, attack, attack, is it, no, it's not, next turn it's not lethal, but it's really, really close, so we will see what my opponent could top deck now, Most likely a sweeper, like Blood on the Snow, but even with Blood on the Snow, he doesn't have super big removal thingies. Okay, he top decked a Grasp. Uh, of course, we're gonna decline. I think it will be smarter for my opponent to keep it. But okay, this way we're gonna draw a card. And have a board presence. Another land is not helpful. I played him because this is just 4 damage. So an opponent will have an extra turn, right? If he doesn't play anything now, Brutal Qatar transforms. Blood on the snow. Okay. What do you get back? A guest. Okay. 
Okie dokie, I thought that you have some stuff. Question is here now, do we take the four and hope for the day? I think so. We take the four, like a big boy. Oh yeah, go for it. We go for a wider, bigger board. I think this is a little bit smarter play. I don't know why opponent don't attack with gas, because I don't have anything on... on. Ah oh, yeah, maybe he plays around uh, command. Qatar, the flesh creature. Okay, beaver is actually also really nice. So this is actually... I think this is the play I went for, right? I went exactly for this play. To present more board presence and to create flyers. So now opponent needs to deal with a lot, lot of different stuff. And they are bigger, of course, because waiting announcement, right? Waiting announcement is just such a powerful card. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. A really, really cool game. Really cool game. Spray and pray. Respect to you. Mono Black is maybe not in the best situation. Oh, nice. How many? How many else do you have there? How many else do you have there? We are through two blood on the snow, right? Some, some, some grasps, some removals. Okay, opponent is looking to close out the game. This becomes slowly but surely dangerous. Slowly but surely. Let's see if we can recover from it. I'm not thinking, but but I uh, could be. Oh, portable gives me one more turn. Gives me one more turn. So pretty good top decks from my opponent. Also not not bad my top decks. The the uh, taking away the learn spells. And now what can we top deck that would save me theoretically? I'm not even sure. Bloop. So maybe for this sort of matchups, I would also add one or two field of ruins. Ah, Jesus, good game, huh? Good game. I can show it to him and pass it. We have nada. Nada, nada. So Field of Ruin, I think, will be also a cool addition here. Um, because it also hits enchantment decks, right? It also would control this sort of lands shenanigans. You Just good game, bro. You don't need to look yet. What the hell? Just attack. Yeah, thank you. We're in, in kindergarten here or what? Tum, tum, tum. Yeah, good game. I, I already said twice good game. So, then I think it was representation of. I mean, I'm super happy with this deck. Super happy. 1798. <laughs> Who cares? I'm gonna keep. So, if you are struggling, if you are struggling, definitely in diamond against or whatever the rank you're playing against enchantment, bro, run this list, you will crash them. But also, we are not that here. I mean, here, a little bit more luck here. If opponent will not top deck two blood on the snow in a row, we would have recovered like crazy. You saw in one turn, we put how much uh, power on the board. Let us untap with it, we win. Let us untap with it. So, if you don't draw blood on the snow, we win. How we deal with the Meathook Massacre? Ah, I, I like this. I never had this play, but you can also have this place. Because don't forget that Savior transforms regardless. It's your turn, his turn. Creature dies. One creature that you control, it transforms. So, But I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in a breakdown. So let's jump straight into the breakdown. And there we talk maybe about some other synergies. Welcome back, my friends. Welcome to the breakdown. And yeah, <laughs> you saw it. Amazing, amazing deck. I love it. I just love the overall synergy with self-sacrificing uh, things, but also the things that can deal with uh, uh, enchantments and artifacts that we also love now since the last week. <laughs> but I also love the synergy between Vading Announcement and Clarion Spirit. We saw it a little bit in the last game. We saw it a little bit against the Zors of... Uh, life gain deck. Um, so there is also just just amazing things. Um, Asher, just great card to produce tokens. So maybe also plays here in the role. Uh, especially Clarion Spirit and Asher allows you just for three mana create just a big big board, really big board. Um, for me, most valuable card Savior. It's 
just an amazing uncommon card guys don't sleep on this card especially now in this meta where every spell is so cheap and i'm telling you if you are an enchantment player this card is also something you should consider also something you should consider because there is a lot of decks that hate your one and two drops and this this creature will take care of it because this creature brings them back and even if it dies afterwards you still got the value right you still force the opponent to block something un 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 uh, willingly. Uh, adversary, also very, very important in this deck. I think uh, you saw it in a few games where we just pump all our tokens that we create uh, here, but also all our other creatures that maybe don't have a target, right? Maybe Qatar Commando or Outland Liberator don't have um, essentially a target where you can sacrifice them and deal with enchantments or artifacts. I don't know if these games are ever existing, but they can exist. Um, and uh, Adversary just makes them bigger and just makes them huge. And uh, Commando is also great against Control because you can flash it. And it's a 3-1 for 2 mana. It's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Kabir Takedown, I love it. But look, maybe that like in our last game, don't have it in the opening hand. It's not necessary. So if you have a choice between Takedown or Portable Hole, uh, of course, Portable Core is much, much better. Uh, because it's not only um, exiling things, but also a little bit cheaper and is regardless of how many creatures you have. So Portable Hole is maybe a little bit better if you're struggling between Portable Hole or Kabira's Takedown. Uh, Brutal Qatar, just an amazing card. And uh, with our deck, because we have card draw with waiting announcement, we have replayability of creatures, um, we can sometimes force, um, let's say, double plays if we want to. Right, because we can, we can, for example, uh, uh, I don't know, pray brutal Qatar, sacrifice it, uh, attack it, bring it back, and bring the 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 with brutal Qatar transform it. So there are a lot of different plays uh, that also enables brutal Qatar multiple time to exile, as you saw against the Wars of deck. Right, uh, we wait a turn longer, we can bomb exile one, maybe we top deck another Qatar, boom goes the the, the dynamite. Here, um, Cave of the Frost Dragon. <sighs> Again, I'm not a big fan of these manlands, but because ores of uh, control is so dominant, manlands are super, super powerful against them. Um, so they need to also run like Field of Ruins. I would maybe reduce one cave. So you have two liars, two caves, right? And um, maybe add one or two of the, of the Field of Ruins. Right. Also, don't go too much on the farmland. You see, I could have gone four, but I don't want to open up with tap lands. Uh, I want to usually play my hopeful initiate on curve. I want to play my um, where are you command uh, flash on turn two. So, if, especially if you are on the play command flashed on turn two, and if you had the turn one play with hopeful initiate, this play come often up. Yesterday, when I was playing, when I had this like six, seven games in a row, when I won in uh, five of them, I had hopeful initiate on turn one. Then turn two, you just attack with hopeful initiate. Often opponent don't block because they also have have maybe a one one or or like something that they don't want to block with. Then you chill and then opponent attacks. If something valuable got killed in this process, I don't know, like uh, uh, Lumina Aspirant. Pa uh, 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 he, he attacks with Lumina Aspirant. You play in uh, Qatar Commander. Bam, Lumina Aspirant less. Next turn you untap, you play your savior. Savior can also um, um, grow, initiate twice because savior is one, a two, one for three. It's a little bit terrible, but then when he transforms, he's a three, two, so he can again grow our hopeful initiate if we need to and get out brutal Qatar, uh, uh, brutal Qatar, Qatar command. I'm sorry. Um, so this synergy always comes up, and uh, the cool part is, of course, with these two and the savior because savior can constantly bring them back, and you constantly can cycle them, kill, kill stuff. The legendary lands, amazing. What should I say? Isn't just an additional removal. I would maybe even go so far and add here one more, but I don't have it, and uh, I'm I'm low on my rares. I want to build some other decks, but uh, I maybe go two. Two of uh, removals is always nice, especially the ones that block the savior because they don't want you to recover something constantly. Zack, they are blocking. Zack, you're playing it and uh, kill their blocker, and uh, they just lose a lot on the board, but also a lot of value uh, goes 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 bye bye there. And it's just three mana, right? And just three mana. Uh, we don't have any legendary creatures, so it will not like be super super thingy. But uh, it's just three mana. And the same is true for Bo Bozeju, uh, who endures, deals with enchantments, deals with artifacts. Uh, 
could maybe go more i think it deals also with lands right uh destroy the iron on non-basic land yeah so theoretically against mono black previous opponent this storm deck would also be a possibility would be a nice one right he would play it he had just uh, the merchant on the board we could maybe here bump for two mana destroy the land uh and uh, deal with it or also it deals with enchantments i in general i'm really big fan of these legendary lands and i think as if if i have uh, more of them i would run at least two because they are not tapped they come in and at the end they have some extra value you you can maybe trigger some triggers with sacrifice triggers all right if they, you have one already on the board you play another one uh the first one dies or this one dies then maybe you get an additional trigger because some permanents get sacrificed um could also work but in general um this deck is it, it looks very simple but it's super entertaining super nice to play and very very powerful i'm not sure i'm not gonna lie but i i played a lot on mobile um with this deck because as i said i didn't have a lot of time to um to to play in the last few days a lot of work a lot of personal stuff also uh, around and that evening i'm mostly uh, really that tired and then sometimes when i lie down and my girlfriend falls asleep i play on my phone and yesterday i was playing uh, and uh, i i won like five or six games in a row minimum minimum i think even more uh with this deck because the enchantments were just so dominant and and now none of my deck wanted to work against it because they gained so much life out of nowhere um uh, but yeah and uh, it was amazing it was amazing so guys i definitely recommend it to you um try it out especially if you're sick of these enchantments um that are constantly popping up getting life and getting extra values this deck will destroy them otherwise i thank you for your time i hope to hear you or to see you or to read you very very soon don't forget to support my channel if you are new here and i hope to see you in the next one ciao